Because what we're starting to see is that companies are actually using this time to look at their travel programs and figure out, do they have an efficient program? Because if you want to make changes to your program, now is the time to do it when basically nobody is using it. And so when you look at it from an overall business perspective, these are the two main scenarios. That there's a delayed recovery that we'll start to see in quarter four of this year, similar to SARS, or more prolonged uh, contraction, similar to 9-11, which takes us out into 2021. Now is the time for managed travel to shine. The requirements are changing. What is the travel program of the future looking like? Uh, what's the value of flexibility? Um, what kind of a, a meal consumption? Breakfast, yes, no. What do we need? Um, you know, what kind of products are needed? Um, Eric mentioned it with regards to cleanliness protocols uh, being self-audited or audited through third parties. I think all of these questions will reshuffle to a certain degree the suppliers you want to deal with. And that's why I think, you know, at this time of uncertainty uh, will lead to the fact that there needs to be more discussions than ever before. And I think this is especially uh, what this period is about. Because we're humans and people want to interact with other people. I do not, and I'm not in the camp of believing the technology is replacing global travel. So I don't believe that at all. I think we have to be patient. Let science fix the problem. It's coming. This is probably one of the key reasons why we have seen the role of brand proliferations, let's call it, over the last three years, every week or 10 days probably. We would have read, we would read about a new brand being launched in a, in a hotel chain. And all of these brands had one purpose, in my opinion, predominantly, which was to, to stimulate the growth rather than to respond to a need of a customer. I mean, some of these hotel chains have 50 brands. There is not 50 type of customers for hotels, in my humble opinion. So what will happen now, everybody will most likely going to be more focused on making what they have more relevant rather than creating new brands. So the focus will, yes, as you said, probably be more on housekeeping, creating relevance to the brands, and we will most likely see less and less, less, and less proliferation of brands as we move forward. Uh, there's a need for sort of certification, uh, and uh, that's the main thing. So you, you have to know it, and you have to communicate it. If you have got this certification, and uh, then it's fine, because business traveler, they have to be sure that this uh, certification is okay. So they have to know it, and then therefore, uh, let's do it for the for the beginning. Maybe it's a sort of uh, well, it's good for the hotels to restart because if you know that they are COVID nineteen tested, then you'll go there faster. But on the long run, the run it will be basic, it will be basic need for all uh, travelers, business travelers. Uh, to know there is a certification of uh, it is clean and it is not a risk to go there or it is not there and then they won't go there anymore. Payments are, are skyrocketing right now. Um, even if uh, not the absolute volume of payment is going to the roof due to the fact that the that the overall volume is still in this crisis, we're seeing that penetration is increasing. This morning, uh, I took a taxi. The German taxi driver took a credit card. Everyone who has ever uh, paid with a credit card in a German taxi knows what that means. Uh, the uh, penetration has really uh, come to the last halt, uh, at least uh, from, a, from a German perspective. So even in a, in, a, in a very conservative country like Germany, we will see um, cash being used less and less. I think uh, we are just seeing the start here of this, of this trend and also real plastic credit cards will be used um, less and less. We will see more use of, of uh, wallet-based, um, NFC-based uh, technology, Apple Pay, Google Pay, uh, I mentioned already. And we will see more and more virtual credit cards. We are very much convinced um, about, um, about this.